The Walela Music Awards, which will soon be launched by Samra, aimed at celebrating local musicians who have made it beyond the South African boundaries and made a name for themselves on the international stage. And we'll also be looking more into the business of music, you know, understanding the music industry as well. And joining us for this discussion, we have the CEO and the spokesperson of Samro, Sipulamine, as well as hip-hop musician, Proverb. Thank you for joining us and welcome. Thank you. So it's Deputy CEO. Deputy CEO, oh, my CEO. apologies. It is yeah. Deputy CEO, right? Boss won't be happy. <laughs> I can imagine, but yes, apologies for that, Deputy mm -hmm. CEO of Samro Sipulamini. But looking at the Walela Music Awards, you know, celebrating local artists, and I suppose we do need that. We do need to motivate our artists uh, to be great at what they do so as to be recognized on the international stage. That's, that's extremely correct. And I think more, more importantly for what we do is we're actually recognizing the composers, so the creators of music. Because sometimes the people that compose the songs are not the artists that you see in the music video or that, whose title goes with a song. So we're trying to make sure that people get to understand that, you know, the song, the, the art, s starts with the creation of that, of that composition. And that's what the Wawel Awards is about. It's about recognizing composers whose works have, have um, been performed um, outside of South Africa as well, so who have achieved success outside of South Africa. Mm -hmm. And I suppose it's, 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 those are the few individuals who do not get the recognition that they would deserve. And, and I mean, I, I would imagine that many artists, before they actually go out and be vocal, whether they're musicians, whether they're lyricists, whatever they may be, they start out somewhere by composing, by writing. And a lot of those individuals are not honored. They're not appreciated for the work that they do. Absolutely. As Butsipo correctly says, it's a whole process before the final product. So I think, um, and I certainly endorse this wonderful initiative, really, that acknowledges the whole process. You know, everybody from the composer to the engineers to the behind the scenes, the guys that make you look pretty. It's like in television, it will be the makeup artists, the cameramen, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That kind of a thing, yeah. But what are some of the challenges that you as musicians face? Apart from you just being a musician, but a writer, a composer, yeah. you know, what are some of your challenges that you face? Look, it's, it's a daily challenge uh, and a constant one as well. Um, you know, one, breaking into the industry is not necessarily easy. Uh, staying in the music industry is another challenge altogether. And uh, also, you know, just uh, support, you know, uh, from each other and from various industries is also another thing. You know, to get into radio, you would think, for instance, is a simple process. But that in itself provides a bigger challenge than I think it should. Personally, I think uh, as South African musicians, we should get preference uh, over international, but uh, it's not it's not that way at the moment. So those are those are some of the challenges we're still dealing with. But you know, Sipa, as as Proverb has mentioned, the issue of sustainability within the industry, I would imagine that it would be attached to a degree of education. You know, being business minded, educated on the music industry, and we do find that a lot of, a lot of artists don't have that mainstay simply because they could possibly they could have all the tracks, they could have all the music, but with regards to understanding the business of the music industry, mm -hmm. they they don't have that knowledge. What is Samro doing to really open up that opportunity to get uh, musicians educated on the music industry. Well, I mean, that's, that's one of the things that the Wawela Awards will achieve. It's the education and promotion of South African composed music. Um, to a large extent, people that, that create music don't get the exposure that an artist might get, for example. So in Proverbs' case, he's, he's a good example because he's a composer and he's an artist. But if somebody else composed for Proverb, we, we, the public are likely to not know who that individual is. So I think education is, is very important and also the promotion of South African music. As Proverb was saying that sometimes on radio locally you, you, you hear more international than you hear local. Most and it's, you know, it's, 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 it's important that we embrace locally created music and that we promote it, but that we educate people as well. So there are also, um, there, there, there are many, um, there are many areas of development within the music industry. In fact, somebody says that music industry, uh, the music business is 80% business and 20% music. Mm -hmm. So you've got to get educated to be able to do business well. But also I would imagine that artists would need to have uh, uh, or understand the relationship that they would have with their record labels, you know, because many a times we find artists really not happy with management, with record labels, simply because they could possibly not understand. How do we bridge that gap as well uh, between record labels and artists so that they find a common ground and share the same interests? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, it's about business. So record labels are in it for business. 
publishers are in it for business and the artist, the composer, is in it for business. And as the artist or the composer, the more you know about your business, so the more research you do, the more reading up you do, and the more awareness and the more you understand the importance and the relevance of the royalty collecting society like Samro, of the record label and of the other elements, then the, the, the better you, you are posed to do well. If you just think, I'm just going to go into the studio and make music and that's it, you're less likely to be able to take advantage of the opportunities that, 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 that exist. Mm -hmm. Can I also add to that and sure. just say, you know, musicians, we're often guilty of playing victim a lot and just, oh, I didn't, know I didn't. You know, info now is freely available. Uh, it's online, you know. Um, I know Samo, for instance, always gives uh, the occasional, uh, you know, seminar and things yeah. about, and we don't empower ourselves. We don't read up. We don't go. We're so busy making the music, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I think equally we need to show as much passion and take as much interest in, uh, in knowing about the business, mm -hmm. you know. And Therefore, we won't be taken advantage of. This is something that I actually wanted to go into as well because many a times we find I'm artists saying, no, these record labels, they really exploit us. So do you find that there are situations where indeed, you know, record labels will try and pull a fast one at you as, a, as an artist, uh, or are we just ignorant as artists? Listen, as Brasipo says, this is business. They are in the business of making money. Uh, we are in the business of trying to use our artwork to at least sustain a living as well. So we need to turn the tables on them because they need us as much as we need them. We also need to take advantage of them. And we can only do that and have a fair debate and discussion and contractual agreement if I know what I'm entitled to, if I know my rights, and if I know my worth as well. But as an artist, you need to grow. And I, and I would imagine that being a successful artist is more than just being an artist. You perform, yeah. you get your money and everything. You need to be forward thinking, you need to be innovative. How have you used the digital space especially to really get onto that innovative thinking? For starters, you need to be on all the online platforms, everything from social networks, you need to have a website, you need to make use of all the, because a lot of it is free and easy to use and user friendly and you need to take full advantage of it. Now we have iTunes, we've got your Reverb Nations, we've got your Bandcamp.coms, which, uh, which don't even charge you, you know, to upload your music. So we need to take advantage of all the, all the platforms and don't take things like Facebook for granted. You know, you can make your music available, you can, uh, you know, PR, you can do marketing, uh, you can even do market research on all the various platforms to see who consumes your music, who subscribes to what you're on about. So uh, I think it's about taking full advantage of it. I certainly have. ProverbMusic.com, by the way, uh, and uh, Forthright is on iTunes and on Facebook. <laughs> Thanks for that, Robert, giving yourself free advertising in jail on our platform. But, you know, uh, Sipo, looking at the Willow Awards, when are they up and how do people get involved? So the Wawela Awards are on June 28th, taking place at the Santon Convention Center. Um, we have 17 categories that people can submit their, themselves for. There is a dedicated website, wawelamusicawards.co.za, where you can go and, and nominate yourself for a category, upload your music, upload your flyers and posters for performances and events that you've, that you've done or usage that your music has had. Um, and I think it's going to be an exciting year. All right. Thank you so very much for joining us, gentlemen. We do appreciate your time. We've been speaking to the deputy CEO and spokesperson of Samro, Sipo Lamin, as well as hip-hop artist, um, musician, what you say, Proverb. For more information, you can v visit their website, the samro.org.za. There's also the other website, which is Rolela Music Awards, .co if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, Proverb. Yes, ma'am. No, also dot com. Dot com. Yeah. My apologies, is Proverb.com, and he's also on Twitter at Proverb Music. He's also on Facebook. You can follow him and you can like his page as well. We'll see you after this. Oh,